Welcome to Q&A Bench Briefs. You ask, we tell. Okay, I got a comment here from ENT66, and he says, I would really like to see more of how you organize your LEGO collection. So, so here's how I organize mine. It's not how everybody organizes theirs. I sort of have a mass confusion of organization right now, but I'll give you some ideas as to how I do it. Okay, this is just some of the... Uh, Mini figs that I have collected. I usually keep all my mini figs together. Uh, I keep some in the case, and we'll show that to you in just a second here. Um, I also keep my themes together as well. That's my theme park, so I keep that. Um, and this is one of my trains I'm just working on right now, so it's kind of irrelevant. Here we go with some plastic cases. Um, now these uh, ones with the red lids are uh, milk bone cases, uh, tubs. The dogs' uh, treats come in. Uh, they're great for storing your parts in you can see through them you really don't need to label them I put all my pick a brick parts in that I bought at the at the pick a bricks from the stores and uh, you can see well in them um, slowly getting away from the cardboard boxes as I did back in one of my first episodes in season one um, just because the cardboard is deteriorating and it's, and it's falling apart and crumbling and stuff um, and you can see there I have the uh, two by four bricks in there uh, in that one so you can see through them you can see what you have and it's not a, a big deal um, in these ones I have all the different little parts uh, sorted out and uh, there's some of the old boxes that I had I have a clear bag uh, ziploc bag with some of my clear parts in it of course and uh, there's my minifig container so uh, I also have minifigs just on my shelf my Star Wars minifigs in another container um, the red container there had all the uh, collectible series minifigs. I keep everything else in containers, like that's my Easter bucket up to the right. Uh, all my Christmas Legos, uh, Christmas trees in another bucket. Uh, I got the Trailer Park Boys in another container, Mars Mission in another. Oh, the Trailer Park Boys is a, is a mock by me, by the way, uh, from a local TV show here in Halifax. And then we go over here, uh, another container full of Christmas uh, Lego and accessories that we use around our Lego Christmas tree and display. Here we got our airport series stuff. Uh, we try to keep that all in one container when we go show the show. Um, when I keep it on the shelf, I try to keep all my airport stuff together as well. And um, same with the Star Wars stuff. Uh, that's just a little uh, miniature model, so I keep them on the shelf. I don't really take them to a show. <clears throat> Over here now in the back wall, we have uh, some of the big uh, serious stuff now. Um, there's some of the old cardboard boxes that I'm getting rid of and uh, on the shelves we have the uh, Star Wars stuff uh, lined up there on the shelf on display as you can see uh, Bionicle's hanging on a chain that's like a teddy bear chain that you can get at Walmart or Target or one of those places uh, I found an old bed sheet I'm using it as a curtain it has Bionicle's on it and the Bionicle's are hanging on the bed chain um, I also have all my uh, Star Wars ships and uh, airplanes uh, hanging from the uh, ceiling so I keep them all together and it does t doesn't take up uh, shelf space as well so it uh, gets them out of the way and um, the only thing is I do hit my head in them now and then and they sort of go flying huh. but uh, they don't literally go flying of course um, and we keep our pirate series stuff together on the shelf and the books with it and there's a picture of some local TV celebrities who signed a picture for me because they were fans of my stuff. Anyway, uh, we're getting moving along here quite quickly. Uh, just showing you uh, some of Razor Blade, some of Razor Blade movies uh, stuff. And now here's some containers when I was at the show. All right, well that wraps up this episode on how I sort and storage some of my uh, Lego. Hope you enjoyed it.